Good morning. I'm Victoria Sager, and I do have oversight over the Service District for Lighting. SDL was the term that you heard used. And I'm going to be talking about the process that you'll need to follow in order to form your street light assessment area. So we're going to focus very, uh, very much on the steps that you'll be taking. We have a chart up here, but I want to draw your attention to the handout in, uh, in your packet, because these are the steps that I'm going to be talking about. So as Wayne t uh, mentioned, as the developer, you start the process by submitting your land use application and development plans to current, uh, to current planning. The county will review those plans and issue a notice of decision. We sort of talked about those conditions of approval. And one of those conditions may be that uh, you are required to have street lights and to form an assessment area to fund those street lights, the ongoing costs of those street lights. So that starts the facility permit process. Once the plans are approved, Assurances staff sends the requirement letter which tells you to contact street lighting staff and street lighting staff uh, contact information is provided in, uh, that, in that letter. So then the following steps can start. You can contact the street lighting staff to learn about the process and the timeline. From that point, street lighting staff will work with you through the entire process. I wanted to point out that we have uh, streetlight staff and a uh, representative from PGE at the back table. They are available after the forum uh, to talk to you and answer any questions you may have. So you're going to be also uh, contacting PGE in the county to select the streetlights uh, from the uh, list of available fixtures. And you're going to submit your plat to Washington County Survey. Survey will send that plat to street lighting staff, and that is street lighting staff's cue to send you the documents that you're going to need to complete and return. So that'll be the petition, the waiver, the continuing request. Um, you're going to be submitting a map and a legal description, and we have information about those and examples of those documents at the back table. When those documents are received by street lighting staff, they'll submit the project to the Board of County Commissioners for approval to form the street lighting assessment area. After the board's approval, street lighting staff will notify PGE to go ahead and install and uh, energize those street lights. The street light costs are then assessed to, on next year's property tax statements for all the tax lots in your subdivision. So as I mentioned, we have a table in the back with uh, street light staff and PGE staff um, who are available to answer any of your questions.